Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. I'm so excited, my friends. We're going to read out of Asha. And this reading of truth, of the perfect creator's perfect idea, it can create a hedge of protection around you. It can create healing in your body. It, that spirit of truth can quicken your mortal bodies. And my friends, before we get to that reading, I want to share with something that Spirit's put on my heart. I want you to look at your hands. Hold your hand in front of your face and look at it. And do you see the hand of God? Do you realize that as light workers, we were sent here to bring people up to the loving Father. One day when you stand before the loving Father and He asks you, how many souls did you bring with you? What are you going to be able to answer, my friends? I want you to look at, get a mirror. I know it sounds funny, but get a mirror and look at yourself. And can you say, I love you? Look in your eyes and can you see God? Do you realize, my friends, that we come from good spirit and we're made of good spirit and we will return again to good spirit? Our holy text teaches that before we came to time space, before we came to the earth, we sat there with a loving father as he gave us our mission to come here and spread Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea to bring the world back to truth and harmony and order. And we're light workers, my friend. And with the infinite mind that sees and knows all, we are all given a choice. Do you want to go? And we saw what we'd go through. We saw the beginning to the end. And we chose with the God mind, the all-knowing mind, that we would go because we would make a difference. Have you gotten lost here, my friends? Have you forgot your mission and why we're here? I want you to wake up and remember today you are a light worker and you are here to bring love to this earth, to bring light to the darkness. My friends, wake up today and realize who you are. I want you to close your eyes and hear your own voice. That is the voice of God. My friends, no one's going to hear the message of the loving Father and love without your voice. No one's going to get food. No one's going to get blankets when they're cold. No one's going to get the touch of the Father without your hands. You are here for a reason. And now what I want to do is just read from our holy text. And I'm praying that the Father, with this word, will awaken inside of your heart of hearts the image of who you truly are, that you can see past your failures and your mistakes, the ones that you chose to do and, and things that were passed in your very genes and DNA, such as addictions and hates and fears. My friends, I want you to see your fravashi, your divine spark. I want you to see God and you as one. Asha 12 says, There is nothing for me outside. I have spent too long looking outside of myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and God, just to find myself ever searching. So I quiet all the many thoughts and ideas and stories and I go inside and there I see Jesus. And I realize there's no separation from my good, my God. We are one. All the truth, happiness I was looking for is here now. I am that. I am. And now that I know this, it is. Good is. And God is. Asha is, my friends. Asha. I am God's thought. I live in God's idea. Perfection. The whole universe vibrates with expected energy for God is with child. 
all throughout the celestial palace the prospect of ever-expanding good radiates brilliant and bright with joy as the highest principle of good shines the light of observance on the dark waves that is the plastic medium of creation in conformity to law the wise lord's highest desire was focused into form young timeless and beneficial to all perceive and understand only the good and let your experience and practice be the same be aware at all times of your high standing always remember the covenant written on your mind that you might not forget you are a child of the king my only job is to align with and hold continuously in mind the attributes of God love life peace joy power and freedom and to be those attributes my mind is God my thoughts are not always God may my thoughts align with mind these are the four powers that are concerned with forming temperance self-restraint do not sin or think air only think truth my wonderful friends fortitude a strength in facing adversity without fear and without doubt and our reason our reason for our faith and our beliefs it's a basis and cause for our belief the and it is the highest truth it is asha the perfect creators perfect idea what else could a perfect creator have but a perfect idea and energy a source of usable power god the highest principle of good believe only the highest truth and we enter asha as the wise lord is perfect so his idea of creation is perfect and this is called asha truth this idea of truth is the very spirit of god it is much more than not making a false statement it is the true vision of God's ideal existence it is the real above all real the highest truth creation in perfect harmony where nothing occurs at the expense or harm of another I look inward to the God mind and I see truth and I experience soundness of mind thoughts make your world beliefs make your thoughts reason makes your beliefs mind reasons mind is the reason know this and then illusion goes away belief in only good it is this complete trust that brings out manifestations now real as they already are by means of reason resonance i know being grateful will bring more things to be grateful for i'm grateful for life i'm grateful for love I'm grateful for family and I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for protection. I'm grateful for provision. I'm grateful for peace and I'm grateful for joy. I'm grateful for I live in this. I live in God, my good. The perfect creators, perfect mind created a perfect thought. I am perfect spirit i am god's perfect thought that is truth my friends i choose not to be double-minded i choose to think god and not the lie i am perfect spirit god's child thought and spirit makes body form therefore my body is perfect my world is perfect for on a subconscious level i live in truth and the lie of discord disappears the spell of separation is now broken for in truth all is good and all is god i am awakened to who i am i have shed the illusion of the lower animal i have let go all air i refuse to hold the vibrations feelings or emotions of the lie I live only in the vibration of truth, Asha, God's highest idea of good. My eyes will not see nor ears hear the lie and illusion. 
I turn away if I sense bad energy. I turn away and remove myself if others choose bad energy. No one can force bad energy on me for I am light and in light there is no darkness. This opinion, our thought, our word that I hold, it is the key to the kingdom and this wisdom rules both worlds. Removing the corruption puts potentialities to their proper use. You must burn out the impurities to find true essence. Purity is a must. If your vessel is mixed with poison, pour it out and fill it with pure substance. Fill it with the original word. It takes a long time to purify a vessel one drop at a time. That in my opinion is too much trust in time. Pour out your vessel and let God fill it with himself. I am in, I am, I live in God. God is good. God is omnipresent. That means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now. My good is here now. Giving true witness a man will be saved. Only think and speak truth to yourself and it will form. Thank God's highest idea of truth, Asha, and live. Keep the power of truth in mind and make it your model. Then trust God and let it be because it is and you'll see it already is. Because Asha is, truth is, God is. In God we live, move and have our being. That is the highest truth and everything else is lie and illusion. Don't worry or strive to make something happen. Don't try and force it. We just align. We align with the loving Father. We be love and peace and joy and kindness and God good and we create that atmosphere. We create that protection, that provision, that health, that divine life. Everyone who is of the truth hears the truth. Hear, my wonderful friends. When man sins or thinks, speaks or acts in error, it is against his nature, for he comes from good spirit and will return to the good spirit. God put the good mind, the divine spark in his creature, so it has a guide directing you at all times. It's how the seed knows to climb out of the ground and become a plant. How the planets stay their course and how man will, will, shall find his way home to Asha Truth. Living in truth, it is a life without enemies. For evil, the lie and illusion is rendered nothing. So go Asha Von Truth Knower in truth and enjoy this wonderful life. Knowing you are God's thought. Living in God's idea perfection. Asha is. I love you guys and we'll see you next time.